We begin with the mystery of Jane Mutter. Her two sisters are now making their message clear. They won't rest until the truth comes out. KRDO News Channel 13 Sydney Stell spoke exclusively with the sisters today. She joins us live with the story. Sydney. Shirley and Lynn got in their car and drove all the way from the Midwest to come right here to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, hoping to help find their sister Jane, who went missing here from Colorado back in 2018. I don't have any answers and I just want some. I just want her to either come home or have closure. That's all. It's been three long years since anyone has heard from Jane Mutter. She's got a heart of gold. She's, you know, she'd do anything for anybody. The 58 year old was last seen by her landlord at a room she rented out of Cascade, Colorado. Her case is being investigated by the El Paso County Sheriff's Office as a missing persons case. Some say she went to Texas and just doesn't want to be contacted. Her sisters aren't buying it. I don't know. Do you leave to go to Texas without your wallet? Do you leave without your phone? And now, though they want to keep hope that she's alive, at this point, they just want the Sheriff's Office to give them an answer either way. She's not used any money out of her bank accounts. She she hasn't renewed any of her medicines. And if it's a cold case, then tell us so we can hire our own investigators so that we can find out what happened to her. So they traveled hundreds of miles from the Midwest to ask for those answers in person. Um, I'm wondering if I could speak to somebody in reference to Jane Mutter's case as far as her being missing. After meeting with detectives, they didn't learn much, but they did set up a regular Zoom call to get updates every few weeks. So they ended up doing the only other thing they could think of. This is my sister, and she's been missing from Colorado Springs area for three years. They asked local businesses if they could hang up missing posters, hoping to get more eyes on her photo. Somebody's got to know something. Somebody has to have seen her. As they wait for a break in the case, Jane's family has put their lives on hold, hoping for the day she might come home. Um, I've put my wedding off twice. Um, you know, my son's about to graduate high school next year. My other son and daughter have graduated since she's been gone. And it's, it's devastating. It's, I don't know. I don't sleep. Now, if you know anything about what happened to Jane, please contact the El Paso County Sheriff's Office right away. You can find that phone number on our website, krdo.com. Live here in downtown Colorado Springs, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.